Yep, that's right. I'm still bashing on about the whole Call of Duty Ghosts bullshit. Okay, so if you haven't seen my Call of Duty Ghost review, I suggest you go and watch that because it will explain my absolute undying hatred for this game. Okay, so Call of Duty Ghost just went on pre-order. I believe it went up uh yesterday yeah i've got a feeling it went up yesterday and um for 45 pounds now i know everyone's american so that's probably like 60 dollars or whatever even so in england that's a freaking lot of money especially especially for a game like this okay now i have a lot more to complain about than just the fact that the flipping uh the the price is so high. Well, I just want to say, Infinity Ward, you greedy motherfuckers. You greedy bastards. I don't think... I think that's probably the most expensive single game I've ever seen advertised. Uh, like, you can buy packs and bundles of stuff for that kind of price. But for a single game, pre-order... You know, this isn't even a pre-order price. Okay, this is, like, the set price. Unless this is going to go up or saying uh, you know, when it actually gets released, which if so, like that's going to be like 50 odd pounds for one game. Okay, the other thing that I'm pissed off about, this game comes out in November. It's fucking May. Alright, May, June, July, August, September, October. No, six months. Six months away this game is. Holy, and they put it up now? What, what's the point? This game unlocks in approximately five months, two weeks, five days, and one hour. What? What? I'm not going to sit here. Like, this shit's going to have to be on Steam, on the front page of Steam, for the next five months. Five and a half months. Okay? What the shit? Why are you putting it up this early? Put it up a month, two months at the most, before it gets released. Okay? Why? Why is this crap up so early? All right, I I don't think I don't think looking back that they've ever done this before. They ever done this this early? I mean, Call of Duty Black Ops Two that um that went out for pre-order a month I think before it, it came out. Modern Warfare Three was about the same, and that that even had a countdown timer. That had like a counting down the hours timer, and that game was terrible. And they had a flipping timer for it. So, the other thing I'm annoyed about as well. This is supposedly the next Call of Duty. The newest Call of Duty. We all know it's not. But the fact that they're advertising it as being this new Call of Duty. This whole new thing. This whole new engine. New gameplay. That's the thing that has annoyed me the most. Is that they're, they're saying all this stuff about gameplay, 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 gameplay. So far... Me personally and everybody else, because that's the amount of trailers they put out, have seen five seconds of gameplay. Five seconds of this new gameplay, this new stuff that they're all so fucking happy and wild about. I mean, they posted three trailers on Steam and a screenshot of the, the thumbnail title. What? Why? What? This? I see this picture in three different places. Why have you got to put it... As a thumbnail title. Oh, thanks. I can use that as a thumbnail for my video and put this is shite across the flipping front of it. But the fact is, they put up three trailers now. Okay, we got the Call of Duty Ghost trailer. Yeah, it's just called Trailer Three. It's and uh, this was the one that their announcement. Uh, this was the one that was all about the graphics. Now they've changed the game. You can watch this. Uh, my video commentary. Um, on this and why it's so crap. I think this is the only one that actually shows any gameplay whatsoever. And there's like three two second clips of gameplay where they explain um, the curves up close, which is, you know, bollocks. Curves up close have been done before, it's not nothing really that new. Um, they show the lean feature and they show the jumping over walls. I think I'll, I'll see if I can fucking find it. But. You know, those are the only bits of gameplay we've seen. Yeah, see, look. That, that's it. You know, oh, oh, two seconds. And then back to someone messing around with uh, polygons on a freaking screen. Oh, wow. Uh, you know, 
So, um, and that's that's how much we've seen. The other two trailers, uh, there's this live action trailer that we've got here, which is some bullshit about wearing masks. It shows nothing about the game, nothing to do with gameplay or graphics. You know, so again, nothing new here. Um, nothing about the game really. It's just an advert, basically, that you'd fucking see on the TV or some shit. And the third and final, or the yeah, third and final trailer. Which, this was actually the gameplay trailer that they showed at their release. This was the quote-unquote gameplay trailer. And all this is, alright, you can go and watch my other review video. All this is, is in-game cutscenes. There's no raw, hard gameplay. I will say something about that shot as well. Sunlight over here, random beams of light over there. Um, shouldn't it be clear sky here and sunlight and sunbeams over there okay this new engine this new graphics gen clearly you haven't even designed it that well so you know bravo on that one um but yeah this this supposedly gameplay trailer only shows in-game cutscenes you know there's no hard raw gameplay all right it, when i say gameplay i mean the, f the whole first person stuff with the HUD displayed and like live actions of someone actually playing the game that is gameplay okay this is not gameplay this is cutscenes alright there is a there is a difference okay between a cutscene and gameplay right this is just the cutscene nonsense alright see all this crap is just cutscenes alright it's it's common knowledge that cutscenes 99% of the time have, you know, more improved graphics than the actual physical gameplay, you know, most of the time. And it's like, they're selling this for 40 quid. They've showed 5 seconds of gameplay, and they're expecting people to buy it? No! Why? Why am I going to buy, like, I wouldn't buy a car if I hadn't seen the car, you know, or if I hadn't, if I was going to buy, like, a house. And I hadn't gone and looked at the house. I could be buying. I could be buying anything. The, uh, the the dumb thing as well is I know what I'm buying with this. Okay, I haven't seen. I've seen five seconds of the gameplay, and I know what I'm buying. I'm buying the exact same Call of Duty that's been re released for the last six or seven years. Okay, I'm buying the exact same game that they just keep remaking over and over and over there's not going to be anything new it's just going to be the same crap recycled that we get every single year like this wouldn't even bother me so much if they didn't release so frequently and it's like you literally you beat one game Play some of the multiplayer, prestige on the multiplayer, beat the multiplayer, whatever the hell you do, and then, oh look, there's a new game, you gotta do it all the fuck over again. Does that not annoy people? That would annoy the crap out of me in like four or five or six years down the line when, you know, I've forgotten about this game and then, like, you know, oh look, a new Call of Duty is coming out, it's gonna be. You know, really cool and fun and better than the last time because they spent five years developing it instead of one year copy, cut and pasting the same crap from last year. Which is what they've been doing for like six or seven years now. They, they, they're just rehashing, copying the old stuff, re-rendering the graphics like they always goddamn do. And they release these crappy trailers they don't show any of the gameplay they show crappy in-game cutscenes and stuff because if they showed you actual gameplay you take you know most sensible people would take one look at it and go oh it looks exactly the same as before why am i going to buy this game what's so different about it okay it's bollocks how are they how are they even still in business how is Treyarch, it's not even made by Treyarch anymore, Infinity Ward, Treyarch, because they made all the previous ones, how are they even still in business if they just keep rehashing these games? Who is still buying these? Like, I was planning to. I was going to be like, you know what, I'm going to give them the whole new Call of Duty thing a chance. You know, it's been a while since I've owned one. I've played others and, you know, 
done reviews and so so on and so forth. I thought, you know, maybe I'll buy the new Call of Duty. Maybe they'll have made something better. They haven't. They haven't changed anything, okay? This is obvious. This is clear in all the um, trailers that they've released. You know, they, they say, oh, we've changed the gameplay. Oh, how have you done that? We've made fish that swim out of the way. Anything else? Uh, oh, uh, we've added the lean feature, something that they, they actually had before. Is a dumb thing. The lean feature has been seen before in Call of Duty games. This is not saying that it's new. All right. So, uh, okay. What else have they added? They've added a dog companion. So what? We've had this before in previous games. Not particularly Call of Duty games, but other games before. So again, not really something new. Not something really game changing either. Wow. We get to use a dog to like go sniff out mines or something. Uh, so what? You know. No real big changes here. It, you know, and all this other crap about, oh, we've, you know, innovated the graphics, curves up close. None of this has anything to do with the gameplay. If they were saying, we, you know, we changed all the weapon functions, now weapons have recoil, weapons are more realistic, attachments are more hard to come by, and less overpowered than before, you don't get so many perks or upgrades or, or crap, like that, that would change gameplay. Alright, that would really change it, and probably change it for the better. If they took away all that crap that they just keep re-putting into Call of Duty games and just making it worse every single time. Things like perks, things like this upgrade bullshit that makes you like a fucking Rambo. Alright, multiplayer, where you, you're you hardly even multiplaying. You're just running around as one guy just shooting shit like you were doing the single player, except this time the shit is a other actual players. You know, oh, it's so different, it's so new. No! It's the same. It's just, I, it's gonna be exactly the same. That's why I'm not buying it. You know, and for 45 quid, what are you thinking? That is, that is ridiculous amount of money for something that we've seen I would say five seconds of. You know, I, I own when I buy a game, I like to see the actual game. I don't want to see the cutscenes in the game. I don't want to see how, I don't want to see how some idiot's been sitting at a computer making graphic. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so oh, we've added the polygon count and shit. I don't, I don't care. Tell me about the game. Tell me what's new in the game. They haven't done it, and that's with free trailers. It's it's just a it's just a joke at this point. It's just a complete and utter joke. What what are they doing? What are they doing? You know, they're the most downgraded, ridiculed franchise in existence at this point. You know, it's like oh, I'm playing fucking Call of Duty. I'm 12 years old. <laughs> You've heard all that before, haven't you? Infinity Ward, Treyarch, yeah. Because it's true, that's why. Cry, it is, it's just a joke. It's just a flipping joke. And this, this is the only thing they can make as well. Like, you look at what Infinity Ward puts out on Steam. It's just nothing but Call of Duty. Call of Duty 4. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. First Call of Duty. Wow, they actually still have that up. You know, and... The funny thing is, you look at it every year, the meta score gets lower and lower and lower. It's just, it's just laughable. It's just laughable. And the m m blah, monstrous prices that they put these games up for, masses of DLC, they're not making anything new. They're not doing anything new. You know, it's, it's embarrassing. It's an embarrassment the way that they just, they just you know, s keep just remaking the same crap year after year. They're just they're shooting themselves in the face. Okay, it it's bad. It's really bad. Stop doing this. Okay, just stop making games or just make something new. Like, if November or E3 comes along and they're like, Okay, guys, you know what? We're not going to make the Call of Duty. We realise that people don't want it. Nobody's going to buy it. You know, no matter what we do to try and promote this, it's going to be crap. Instead, we're going to make something completely different. I don't know, an 
RPG adventure game, just something else. All right, it, you, you know, it's like, what have we got to look forward to this year? Uh, another Call of Duty, another Assassin's Creed. Oh my God, so exciting! The same stuff year after year after year, and then you get these other, you get these other game developers, people like Valve, 2K Games. Uh, the people that made Metro, I can't remember off the top of my head who they were. Um, that you know, are quiet for like five or six years, and then it's like boom, new Bioshock, new Metro, new Counter Strike, new Half Life, whatever. And it's like holy shit, this is amazing. You know, they've spent time on this, they've trialed it, they've tested it. It's amazing. This is just like. We hashed together the same crap as last year. We've barely play tested it. Here's a pretty looking trailer. Enjoy. No, I'm I'm sick to death of it. I'm absolutely sick to death of it. Do not buy my final verdict for Call of Duty Ghosts is if you want to play it, play any of the other Call of Duties. They're exactly the same. Exactly the freaking same. I am Army Boy. Cheers for watching. K. Thanks. Bye.